Monkey 1000, and today I'm with my mom. Here she is. Say hi. Hey. We we are at the Sunken Gardens in Leeds, uh, well, it's St. Pete's. So we came, just the two of us. Shea Bear stayed at home in our cottage that we're rented. Um, he stayed there with Bruno. So we just, the two of us came. So he's going to cook us dinner, that's why. So we're going to go through here and we're going to check out the place and uh, I will show you stuff in between. So hang on. Yeah. Okay guys, so right here we are at the Amazon Parrots. I'm not going to read this, I'm going to let you guys freeze it if you want. And he is way back over here. Hello. And he's in his corner. He doesn't want to be bothered. I don't blame him. Oh, he's pretty though. Hello. Oh, he's hot. How are you? Do you have a name? What's your name? He's cute. Anyways, this is what they say is um, over here, those are all bamboos. And they're supposed to be, this is supposed to be like a hundred years old. So, um, so we're going to look around and we'll, we'll, anything we can find, we'll let you see. He's cute. I did get him, so he did say hello. I don't know if you guys heard him. Hello! Hello! Yeah, he's not wanting to really talk right now. You're a pretty boy. Pretty boy? Can you say pretty boy? Hello. He said hello. I heard him. Alright, so we're going to go down here. And we'll see what we can find. So stay tuned, everyone. Okay, guys. So these are called the Laughing Kooka Burrows. They're from Australia. And you can read this if you like. And here he is, way up here, standing tall and enjoying the shade. I don't blame him. It's hot, warm today. It's going to be a warm day. He's pretty. You're pretty. Yes, you are. You're very pretty. Hopefully you guys can see him. I don't know. Some might be. I'm trying to do two things here at once. The bridge here. There's some quail. Koi. Koi. Whatever they are. Koi. Koi. They're huge. Look at them. They like to eat. <laughs> don't we all? I had a patient that had him in his swimming pool in his backyard. Yep. And they were huge. He was getting ready to get rid of them because he was sick. So, that's pretty cool. Very pretty in here. See? Birds are flying around in here too. I don't know what kind of birds they are. But they got butterflies. There's a butterfly right there. I don't know if I'm getting it. But, yeah. Look at those. They're friendly. You must be able to feed them. Well, they probably are used to people feeding them. Yeah. Giving them Because they don't look too thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. They're pretty healthy. Alright, I'm going to take a picture of her and we are going to go on our way. Over here, where you see the tent is where they do weddings. So you can have a wedding reception and done in here too. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll be back. Okay guys, so this is called the Colorful Paths Tell a Story. So I'm not going to read it to you, but you guys can freeze it and you can read it yourself. And these are the, the stones here. But see they're old and you can see the cracks. And the story tells that he put it here for women who had heels on. And when you look in the picture that he did here, 
that they were closer together back in the day. This was done in 1930. So, that's pretty cool. And I bet you it was really nice back then. They didn't maintain them very well. They, they, to me, they should. should. I, I'm having trouble pushing her in the wheelchair, even though there's pathways here. Um, you know, it's very difficult. So, yeah. But look in here. This is really pretty. Oh, I looked it back here, and you guys can see the color. There you go. That's a little bit better. So, and this is really pretty in here. Very pretty. So, okay. Hold on, I'm going to take her over to the water fountain. Okay, guys, so here's the water fountain. the lowest pond. You are now 15 feet below street level in the sinkhole site from which Sunken Gardens was developed. This is the lowest point in the gardens and the lowest pond in an intricate series of waterscapes created by George Turner Sr. started in the 1930s. Very cool. Let me show it to you. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. There's little fishies in here. Little tiny fishies. And there's a fountain up there. Pretty, pretty cool. Bring it up to you a little bit better. Oh, there's a turtle! I see the turtle! Turtle, turtle! Yeah, he's got his head up. Cute. Yeah. Okay, and over here, or what do they call that? That's a shrimp plant. That is a shrimp plant, those yellow things. Yeah, there you go. Pretty cute, and they look like shrimp. They, they have, they bring butterflies in. Butterflies. Oh, do they? Yeah. Are they a vine or a tree? It's a bush. It's a bush? A big bush? It is now. <laughs> Does it take a long time to grow? Well, mine was still small when I had it for four or five years. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be interesting. I'd like to put one maybe in the backyard. Oh, it'd be great. Yeah. So we'll have to keep that in mind and maybe buy a few and put them in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Nice. So this is Sunken Gardens Growing Stone. The, this fossil limestone rock was an original found in the center of the sinkhole lake which formed Sunken Gardens. Legend has it that he who sits upon the ancient stone shall be granted tranquility, inner harmony, and the talent to make things grow. Oh, I need that. I better sit down. Because <laughs> I don't grow things very well. <laughs> All right, rub it all over me. There we go. So, I'll show you. <laughs> there's the there's the stone. It's very pretty. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, hold on. I'm going to take me a kind of a selfie so I have proof that I did this. 
Hey guys, so we're here at this tree. It looks like some kind of palm tree. Way up there. It comes all the way down. And look at these right here. That's what they're showing right here. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay guys, here we are. This is cut, this is about the koi right here. You can read it and freeze it if you like. And look at look at how big they are. This one's bigger than a lot of ones that far. Look at them. Huge. They're slowing down. They must be hot. See how they're down in the bottom there? Cool. Very cool. We got a little water fountain up here. Very pretty. We don't have anything. No, no food. Look how bad it is. It's a good thing he's not edible. Yeah, right? <laughs> he would have been gone a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. So here, they got hearts on the sidewalk here. Because this is where they do their weddings. Right here. I'm not showing you. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. So, hold on. Hold this. It's on. Yeah. So, hold on. Okay, yeah, I got the mic on. Oh, look at that bird. Where? You just missed it. He flew right in, almost right into your face. Just hold it like that. Why oh, I pushed it. Okay. Go through here, go down here for a minute. Oh, this is great. Nice. Those are what you got in the front yard. Yeah. Okay, so here is the wedding lawn tradition. You guys can freeze this and read it because I'm not going to do all the reading if you're not interested in it. There. Hopefully, you guys are getting that. You can freeze that. And this is the lawn. It says times may change, but weddings are timeless. Sunken Gardens Wedding Lawn has provided a stunning set setting for one of the most important days of people's lives since the 1930s. The founder's son was married here in 1955, as was his great grandson in 2016. Oh, that's cute. And see? That'd be a nice place to have a wedding. Yep. You can have your wedding here. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Cool, huh? Very pretty. Because you would want to do all the pictures in through here. Yeah. You know, that would be really gorgeous. Very interesting. Okay guys, we are at the flamingos. Here you go. They're having their bath. <laughs> oh yeah, they talk. Oh, wow. They can be mean. They can be very mean. Very cool. Yeah. There's two over there. Hi guys, we are now trying to make sure I got battery stuff. These are Amazon parrots. Yeah, they're called Amazon parrots. Here's the the talking thing about it. You can you can freeze it. And oh uh, let me see where he is. Oh there he is right there. Hello. Are you pretty bird? Pretty bird. Hey you pretty bird? There's one in here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's way on the other side. And then they got a couple in here. There's that one there. 
and they have one way over there up in the top I don't know I don't know what you guys have seen oh there's another one too there's a few of them in here yeah he's way up there they have pinatas in there there's one there oh there must be what four or five in here yeah yeah look at the one down there yeah yeah you got him yeah I got him he looks like fun hello pretty bird pretty bird want a cracker want a cracker you like crackers huh yeah they're pretty I hope you guys are seeing these I don't know my watch off so I have no clue <laughs> all right guys we are gonna get, keep on going there's a squirrel in here <laughs> Gathering up whatever he can find. Cool. Very cool. These right here are called the Song of India. Song of India? The Song. Really? Yes, Song of India. There's a. Wow. Cool. It's like a vine, I think. Because it goes up into the tree. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of has like a leafy thing here, and these here, pretty, very pretty. And you go way, way up here, and there you go, yeah, yeah. very pretty. I just kind of do it slowly. Very. Very pretty through here. Cool. Okay. We'll be back. Okay, guys. We are now in the history center. We are inside. And this is an old TV set from the 60s and the 70s. Pretty cool. This is a shuttered to show piece 1940 structure has been restored and repurposed as our history center founder George Turner senior and his daughter-in-law Lucy Turner set stand inside it as our first gift shop and original entrance so this is where you usually used to come so they, they must have built a, a different one and now they just use this for a history place. Okay, a lot of this stuff, if you want to read it, freeze it, you can. I'm not going to read it all. We will kind of do our own little thing here and read it. So. It was a sinkhole originally. Yeah, yeah, it was a sinkhole, yeah. 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 That's something, eh? Yeah. It was 15 feet below the street level to the garden's lowest point. That's where we were. Yeah. We were in the sinkhole. Yeah. And that's when they found that rock that I showed you. So that rock, they found it in the sinkhole. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm just kind of going to show you a little bit here. It's not very big. I think we're the only ones in here. I didn't hear anybody else. Love in the Bloom. Every journey has a beginning of Sun King Gardens. Our story began with George and Eula. Eula? E U L A? Eula? Eula. These two plant lovers fell for each other and had a family eventually established this historic garden where, for more than a century, visitors have come to fall in love too. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Very pretty. I guess that's one of her babies right there. So they loved each other and they really, there's their picture, they really like to do gardening. That was their main thing in life was gardening. Love flowers. Like most people do, I think. I don't think there's not too many people that don't like flowers. Not women, anyhow. No. Women love flowers. Handcrafted elements create a one-of-a-kind garden. 
So in the 30s, founder George Turner Sr. installed winding flagstone style paths to guide visitors through the lush attraction with a new his vista around every curve. His creativity, craftsmanship, and passion to work with his hands was passed down to his sons and grandsons, who expanded the paths and built cave-like structures throughout. That's, that was the waterfall, kind of, you saw that? And that was a cave, kind of, it was where I put her, and I, I, I took a couple of pictures of her, so, um, around that. So that's pretty cool. You guys can kind of see it, hopefully. Okay, let's see over here. Let's see what this is. Uh, from the boom to bust. Land, crabs, tourism, and the seeds of sunken gardens. St. Pete's tourism, the population soars in the 1900s. The invention of the automobile and newly paved roads increased Florida's accessibility from North States and tourism bloomed, leading to sunken gardens rise. The plumber becomes a prospector. And it goes on. I guess this was their house. Everybody was making money on land, including working class inventors like George, seen here and his wife. In 1910, that was their little house. Very cool. So there's a map there. That was in 1924. The Gandhi Bridge shortened to 42 mile trip from Tampa to St. Petersburg to a mere 19 miles bringing big businesses to the 4th Street, Sunken Gardens, and the rest of the city. Really cool. History is very important. People need to know their history. You know, I, I hated history because we were sitting in a classroom. But when you come to things like this, it's more fun. That's why if I was a teacher, they would be going to, out to field trips as much as possible because I think people learn better by looking and seeing and feeling than sitting and doing a textbook. Read that sale pending and canceled in the nick of time. Okay, from the background, what, what are you looking at? Sale pending and canceled in the nick of time. I don't know where that is. Top. The very top? No. In the middle. This, this is Dear George. Oh, above that. Oh, here? Okay, yeah. so sale pending and canceled in the nick of time. The gardens grew into a major Tampa Bay area attraction by the 1940s. But after both sons joined the military during World War II, George and Eloa, Ilo, then in their 60s, struggled to keep the gardens running. A mother's unanswered written request for George Jr. to help maintain the gardens upon his return from Europe led to, <coughs> I guess that's what, a thousand yeah. sale contract with West, Westminster Presbyterian Church. He responded in the nick of time and the sale was nullified. Good. We wouldn't have had this to limit. Yeah, it wouldn't have been here. It would have been a church. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah. So there's some more here. You guys can read it all. I'm getting a little hoarse. <laughs> it's interesting though, very interesting. You ever come to St. Pete, might want to come here? I got a coupon out of a pamphlet that was in the cottage and it only cost us $12 for the two of us. So if you get a coupon, you can do that. And the coupon was good until December of this year. So that was pretty cool. It's usually $15 a piece, which I don't think is that bad. You know, building transformations if these walls could talk. From a humble proceed stand to the world's largest gift shop, each structure speaks to the incredible and sometimes bum, bum, bumpy growth of Sun King Gardens over their generations and beyond. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Just a little bit more history here. And that shows right here it, the way it looked in 1952. 
Very cool. I'll show you this picture here. Let's see. I think we push these. Let's see what happens. We can push this. Animal Adventures. just looking at me trying to wonder what I'm doing so yeah so they try to stay cool underneath that cave that's what they're trying to do and sleep okay guys stay tuned okay there's the uh, sign guys from the entrance here we are done um, but I just wanted you guys to see we really, really enjoyed it. My mother liked it. It was a really nice place to come for, for, for the day. 
it didn't take that long maybe a couple of hours and it's not that much you know you're not paying an arm and a leg to enjoy the day you know so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm probably gonna just put this video by itself because it's long and then I'll do the other stuff together so stay tuned we're gonna go to the beach site this evening I'll get some pictures there and video Okay? Alright. See you later.